Speaking about retirement, how much do you really need to save? Watch the show till the end to find out. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. And if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. And let's roll. Today, I want to talk to you about retirement and how much you really need to save. A lot of people talk about numbers. One million. Is it one million? Is it 500,000? Is, uh, is it 10 million? Whatever you need. We are going to find out today. Now, how much do you really need to save? For retirement is unique to your situation what may be right for you will depend on your retirement expenses and the income you expect to help cover them so it is very important therefore to have a detailed comprehensive view of all the sources of income you might draw from after you retire so retirement experts have talked about they, they, they have offered various rules of thumb about how much you need to save somewhere near 1 million 80 to 90 percent of your annual pre-retirement income 12 times your retirement salary but what's right for you really and how do you know you are on track let's talk about and we're showing this right now on the screen and this is a great a great picture that we got from um, our friends at the bank of america merrill lynch and they had a survey and the survey is very simple the question was very simple will your savings be enough for the retirement income you will need and the great thing here is that you will be surprised. You may be surprised how much or how little even generously sized accounts could potentially provide over the course of a retirement. So the examples below the sample we're putting here on the uh, on the screen illustrate how much a 65 year old can safely withdraw in the first year of retirement. So if the savings value at age 65 is 300,000, your annual income from savings is $12,000. If your savings value at age 65 is 1 million, you can safely withdraw 40,000 a year. If your savings value at age 65 is 1.5 million, you can safely withdraw 60,000 a year. Now, just how big your next egg should be and how long it might last will depend not only on what you save and invest, but also on how you spend it once you do retire. So, and now let's talk about some of the factors you need to consider as you determine what your unique savings goals should be. First up, I want you to base your retirement savings estimate on what you expect to spend. Spending is very key, folks, because having a percentage or dollar amount to give you a rough idea for planning can be helpful, but you cannot be focused solely on that. So everybody's lifestyle is different, folks. You, your lifestyle may be different from your friend's lifestyle. It's, it's really, it's really, really, it boils down to the personal lifestyle. So what you want to do in your retirement years may be very different as well in terms of uh, your, uh, your vision, your mission. Do you want to have an active retirement or a passive retirement? So instead of rely, relying on a general figure, it's better to create a ballpark annual estimate based on what you you live on now and what you might need in terms of your uh, lifestyle in the future when you retire so we basically right now we are showing you right now on the screen there is a great uh, chart that we got from the the um, the employee benefits research institute the ABRI, and this is basically this chart tells you how much you, you how you will you will spend your retirement dollars and here is how older americans today spend their money so housing 47 percent it's around 46 to 48 percent food 13 to 13 percent on average health 8 percent to 13 percent clothing 4 percent on average transportation 7 to 14 percent and the gap here is because if you live in the in a state or a city where the public transportation system is not developed you will need to have a car and having a car as we know is more expensive in terms of transportation than taking the bus or taking the, the train and entertainment the expenses here are hover around six they range from six to eleven percent and other expenses so remember that although some costs such as health care may increase in retirement there may be savings elsewhere 
So researchers at Ebri have found that once people retire, they spend more time shopping carefully and preparing meals at home, for example. So the cost of living for items such as uh, this goes down. What I'm trying to see here, and I'm showing you this so you have an idea of based on your age, as you can see here, we have the on the screen here, we have ages from 50 to 64, from 65 to 74, from 75 to 84 and over 85. So depending upon your age bracket, you got to have an idea of where your money will go. Is it in housing, food, health, clothing, transportation, entertainment or other? You also have to keep in mind all of the income sources that can help cover your expenses. So I just spoke to you about expenses and all the categories, all the all the spending categories, your money will be sucked into. If I can use that phrase, we now have to pay attention to the plus side. So the minus side is the expenses. Now let's talk about the plus side, the income side. As you explore how much money you might really need in retirement, Remember that the amount you decide to save and invest on your own is only one component of your future retirement income. So sources of income for households aged 65 or older include social security, workplace savings, and money from part-time work. And we're showing you, we're showing you right now on the screen. You can see here that the ink and this, this, um, comes from Merrill Lynch. This is a great, this is a great, um, pie chart here that tells you that Current employment earnings, 34%, social security, 33%, 20% personal retirement accounts, investments, 9% and other 4%. And here, what, what, the personal retirement accounts include traditional and Roth IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, pension plan payouts and annuities. And this chart is, uh, is coming from uh, the social security administration facts fast facts and figures about social security 2020 one thing you have to understand is that working in retirement more americans will either you want to look at it fortunately or unfortunately or they do have to work either full-time or part-time to sort of compensate for the lost of income lost in income is it because things are getting harder or things that people need more money but it is a fact so if you're planning to work in retirement so you can save less today you want to be realistic about your expectations because the annual retirement confidence survey from the employee benefit research institute the ebri i was talking to you earlier about they have consistently found that american workers are far more likely to expect to work in retirement than actually end up doing so so 79 percent of respondents plan to work in retirement compared to just 29 percent of retirees who report they have worked to, to they have worked for pay in retirement what i'm trying to say here is that there there is an expectation gap out there you might not find a job if you are thinking about working in retirement you might not find a job as a retiree competition is hard you have a younger younger populations that is uh, vying from the for the same jobs you are vying for so it's better to think about the income side the income the savings the investment side than thinking about the earnings from a regular job whether you do it on a full-time basis or part-time basis i'll be right back right after this i'm going to work. Welcome back to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We're also having a conversation here around um, how much do you really need to save? And I'm going to give you two ways to check on your progress right now. By the way, if you love the content's clarity and quality so far, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be informed in real time whenever we drop a new show. There are two ways. So understanding your post-retirement expenses and income can help you estimate how much you may need to draw from your personal savings each year in retirement. However, it can be difficult to turn that goal into a realistic amount to invest today when your goal is decades away. Let's say if you are in your 20s, retirement is like three decades away or four decades away. So I'm gonna give you two ways you can check on your progress to see if any chart, any changes sh should be made. For a quick check on of how you are doing today versus similar savers, similar savers rather. So. How much the best retirement savers and we're showing this on the screen right now i'm showing you this is uh this is uh, a screen this is a chart rather that came from um, the global wealth and investment management chief investment office at merrill 
a, a company of Bank of America. So you can see here is that people, and we're showing this on the screen, people ages 18 to 29, you need to have 0.7 times your current salary. If you are in ages 30 to 39, you want to have 1.3 times your your current salary. If you are in uh, ages 49, I mean, sorry, 40 to 49, you want to have 2.8 times your current salary. If you are in ages 50 to 59, you got to have you got to have a retirement account that is equivalent to 4.9 times your current salary. And if you are ages 60 to 64, you need to have a retirement account that is equivalent to 7.4 times your current salary. What I'm trying to say here is that you need to have, let me give you an example, a very simple example. If you are, let's say you are 24 years old, right? And you're making 50,000 a year, your retirement account should be 35,000. In other words, 50,000 times 0.7. If you are, let's say you are 54 years old and you're making 100,000 a year, you need to have a retirement account that is 100 times 4.9. So in other, in, in other words, you need to have 49,000. By the way, in the first example, I made a mistake. So if you are making 50,000, 50,000, 0.7, 0 .7, 0 .7, you, you need to have, uh, yes, that, that's 35,000. That's correct. That's correct. So if you're making 100,000, you need to have 49,000 because it has to be 4.9 times. So the point here is that this is, this is a general benchmark. It's not the norm really, but it's a benchmark to tell you because the Merrill Lynch analysts, they have done research. They have, come, they have surveyed millions of Americans and they're giving us here a benchmark for you to know where you should be based on your age. Another another way to find out whether you really are making progress is to see where you are and what you can change to stay on track for the future. So there are what I called the, um, you have personal retirement calculator. You have this on the, on the internet, there are several of them. And we're showing here and we're showing you right now on the screen you can see if you go if you just go on google and type personal retirement calculator you have a series of uh of results you have personal retirement calculator from merrill, merrill edge that's merrill lynch you have one from uh, smartasset.com you have one from retirement uh from from uh, nerdwallet.com you have another one from uh, bankrates.com you have um one from vanguard calculator.net Schwab so those are and you have Dave Ramsey you have market watch so you have a, a wide variety of retirement income calculator out there that tell tell you pretty accurately where you should be of course they will ask you to enter some info some personal info about your income your age your expenses and uh, other questions about your lifestyle and then the system the algorithm will uh, determine whether you are on pace to reach your goals or whether you need to uh, you need to, to 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 save more you need to contribute more across the the asset classes you have whether they are tax advantaged accounts such as uh, iras and 401ks or taxable brokerage accounts one thing that's very important to remember is that a personal retirement calculator lets you view a projection of your savings to see if there is a gap between what you will have and what you will need when you finally retire and the calculator also helps you adjust your strategy accordingly so with the calculator you can see how potential adjustments to your savings goal retirement dates and investment choices can affect the size of your retirement savings in the future so you can and and the way you can do this is that, that some some uh, retirement uh, calculators even allow you to import all of your investment information to test to test similar s scenarios so you're able to test where you are based on the based on your assets your investment accounts your savings accounts your checking accounts and so on and so forth all right folks this is it thank you so much for listening to this conversation i was talking to you today about how much do you really need to save 
for your retirement. And I hope I was adding value to your life today. And uh, if, if I did, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you are informed in real time whenever we drop a new show. And we drop this kind of shows every single day, rain or shine. I will see you next time. But until next, until then, rather, <laughs> stay marvelous. <laughs>